We wish we would have seen you. We will see you at the next event. What do you say, David? Man, Ricky was off the chain. I'm just telling you guys, I brought the mindset, he brought the skill set. We killed it. We're gonna do this again. And all I can tell you is, it was unreal. It's Ricky. Uh, look, I got us an offer. It's a really good offer. So give me a ring when you get a chance. Just say, you know, uh, contract is hereby null and void. Um, did not pass uh, inspection. Also, we sold Sunchase. I'm going to speak at this uh, real estate event tomorrow and then come back Sunday. Talk to me about the motivation of your, of your seller. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, I'm in LA and there's like sirens and cops and, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, I hadn't really spoke to him in a little while. But uh, we have a great uh, relationship, and uh, you know it's been on the market forever. I mean, what are you thinking? I mean, we we had an offer at one point for like forty or thirty-five or forty, and he wasn't interested in that. Um, so, but that was a while that was a while back. So, you know, I could I could call him and fill him out. You know, Brazil's talking to me about going down there in Australia. And go. Those flights are. Just take. I'm gonna go, but man, I'm dressed natural. We're gonna get settled in. Go ahead and uh, get some grub somewhere. Yeah. So, what do you feel like eating? Uh, what what's good? Because straight down, this is like the main drag on Carson Avalon. Okay. And then. Uh, Charger State is like a half a mile, not even a half a mile walking distance. And then there's a mall, another mile down. And you got everything from Tony Roman's ribs. You, you got, got everything. everything. We'll probably go there and uh, just kind of pick something out. I got another, I got another 39 hours and 55 minutes. Yeah. To like to like find some more business, you know what I'm saying? I seen it, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I just didn't want to move my glass. Man. I seen it. I seen it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, had it. I was like, shit. It's about to go down. Go down. But the key is, you gotta pick a way, and you gotta consistently do it every yeah. freaking day. Are there ever any listings or uh, clients that you walk away from if you see it there? Never. I've never fired a client. You don't speak much about open houses. You don't. Yes, that's not something you do. When early mm -hmm. on, did you do that? Yeah, a few, a few of them. You know, I mean, once you do a few, you realize this isn't real productive, and then you just kind of quit doing them. You know. <laughs> what would you say a new agent should look for, like in a brokerage? Like, what would be something that? I love that question. Mm -hmm. I think the number one thing is, is that they're going to teach you something. I have a question. What do you think about as far as a new agent, as far as starting with our, in, um, a real uh, a franchise company versus an internet broker? Like EXP? And yeah, like EXP. Wherever they're going to teach you the most. Okay. Wherever you feel like you're going to learn the most, 
And then if you get in there and you feel like that was a bad move, go somewhere else. Okay. Thank you. Don't waste any time. What would you say is the main thing that um, people miss or they overlook that's very important when you're trying to do this deal? Reading them. Door knocking. I love door knocking. I think door knocking is right up there with all the rest. Anything that puts you in front and talking voice to voice to a property owner is fire. How do you keep up with 118 transactions with only one assist? Really good question. The answer is I don't worry about the deals. Because here's the thing. Like I said, you can't talk people into doing deals. You gotta let the process take care of itself. Uh, I'm part time uh, agent, and my time in the morning is at the W2. So my prospecting will be in the evening. But I, yeah. my question is between 8 and 12, yeah. who are we reaching? Because the people are looking at but yeah. can, can I answer, can I just like say, for real, like it does not matter what time that you call people, okay? If you watch me make calls, I'm calling in the morning, I'm calling in the afternoon, I'm talking to people, I'm doing deals. If you're going to focus on when should I call, you're just making up excuses in your head not to call at certain times, right? And then what happens if you miss that time? Well, I'm just waiting for the mark, I didn't hit that window. It's horrible mindset.